Hey there, welcome to yet another episode, a thrilling episode of Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, joined by my loyal gang, my chums, my comrades, Sona Obsession. Hi. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, you've been practicing that. That's good. And, um, <laughs> and Mr. Matt Gorley. Matt, how are you? Hi. Good to see you. <laughs> Hey, you very, your citizenship classes are going very well. <laughs> I love America. It's a beautiful country. I can turn right at a red light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling good because I just got back from a uh, a lengthy stay in New York City. Yeah. Did a bunch of uh, podcast records there. Very cool. And Interview. what we do is we sort of get some of the people that don't often get to this host. And our great booker, Paula Davis, lined up just a murderer's row of people to talk to. Um, I'm sorry. What? Yeah. So many of those people come out to Los Angeles yeah. regularly. So many of them live here. Many of them live here. And it's like you caught them when they were in New York. So don't, don't don't do that. Yeah, it's brutal. Well, first of all, uh, you do have a point there. <laughs> that every single person I talk to not only uh, regularly comes to Los Angeles, but of the, I think, seven people I interviewed uh, during my week, um, I think six of them own homes within 300 feet of this building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's the part that's really hard to swallow. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. Uh, I'll say I talked to seven people uh, last week, and I know you guys were very jealous that I talked to Matthew Reese. Yes. Mm. You're big Matthew Reese fans. And mm. I, I don't know if this is going to console you or not, but mm. as amazing as he was on Zoom, in person, multiply that by a thousand. Ugh. What's he smell like? He smells like victory oh. and pine. Like if you could take the pine scent plus vi just the smell of victory. Oh my God. So like if you... If you built a log cabin out of uh, the assault on Omaha Beach. Yes, what? exactly. Oh, yeah, that's a reference to D-Day. Yes, I know it is. I just you probably wouldn't think, know. I you think probably would... think we attacked a beach in Omaha, oh, Nebraska, okay. Real don't funny. you? But that, you know what? That probably smelled a lot like death. So I like, you know, no. I don't think that it was probably a good no, example. No, coast of France. Nice briny smell. Oh. Beautiful. Yeah. You, you kind of, I understand you're going a little hard at him, but you kind of came a little I'm hard sorry. at me. That's I know. Okay. I'm That's sorry. That's true. It's weird when you two fight. Yeah, we have to have a united front here because he's the one screwing us. I yeah. know. He went off to New York for I went off to New York, and you know what? Ever. You know what's incredible is uh, I looked at my, I was wearing an Apple Watch and. Ooh, an aristocrat. Oh, yeah. fancy man. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> fancy, I, fancy man. Sorry, I do live in a bubble. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> But I own one of those uh, watches made by the Apple Company, and it ha com comes complete with an Apple strap oh. powered by Apple Energy. No, but I was wearing one just because, you know, you like to know what steps you're getting, and i it's shocking. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So I know you're uh, very busy. Yeah. Because you've got twins. Yes. Twins who are over two now. They're going to be two in July. It's very easy to find yourself uh, doing things for other people or uh, trying to be really productive and get a lot done and take care of everybody. I know you're a caretaking personality. Yeah, I am. So are you. And and what happens sometimes is you'd realize I haven't checked in on myself. I have no clue how I'm doing. Yeah. And I bring this up because I'm a big believer in talk therapy. If you if you can find the right fit, if I, right person and getting help. It's made a huge difference in my life. And yeah. in some ways I've been your therapist over the years. You have been, you've been, and I and I think that you're a you very didn't easy pay person a to talk therapist. to. I don't want to pay someone. <laughs> so I figured if I could just talk to you, I'll just do it for free. But it is, so it is important to talk to someone. If you're thinking of starting therapy, maybe give BetterHelp a try. Here's what I like about BetterHelp. It's entirely online. This didn't exist back in the day when I was maybe looking for someone to talk to. And it's such a smart, way to get involved in this process. BetterHelp is designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Uh, I really think this is a terrific idea. Visit betterhelp.com slash Conan today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Conan. When you're in New York and I'm just walking around doing things, and one day I did 10 miles. Oh. Mm. And then I think, here in Los Angeles, you know, I get in my car, I come here to the podcast studio, and then this is my choice. 
I'm carried by my assistant, David, yes. uh -huh. up and placed in my chair. Yeah. And then I'm carried back to my car and I go home. And then this is a deal I have with my wife where I'm carried upstairs. Okay. And so I barely move here in LA, yeah. but I got so much, I was just walking and walking and I, I have killer abs right now. My ass is rock hard. Let's see oh. it. Do you want to see my ass? Yeah. No, I'm good. Wait, your, <laughs> your birthday's coming up. I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Five o'clock tomorrow morning, ass pick text. Oh. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. You're like, Happy what is on this? one cheek, birthday on the other. Why did someone send me a picture of these two Soggy, uncooked <laughs> English muffins. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Why are they freckled English muffins? Oh, oh come on. That's erotic. I like English muffins. Did you say that's erotic? I think it's very erotic. <laughs> okay. That's my ass, ladies. They've been uh, soaked in brine and then just taken out. They were never oh, put through a toaster. Pickled. Brine, and pickled. they smell like yeah. that? They have little pickled. freckles. Uh, uh, yeah. And then, of course, that uh, tattoo. Oh. Um, we won't talk about that. It's of an Apple Watch. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it is uh, It is amazing. It was incredible. But I, uh, I did miss you guys, sincerely. I did miss you, but I think the interviews were uh, really terrific. And um, <laughs> in no way hampered by your absence, but I also missed you. <laughs> and I think it was a great loss. But at the same time, I think if anything, the interviews were enhanced. But oh. I think the quality really suffered. There, I've covered all my bases. <laughs> you can walk in LA. What's I'm that? just saying. You know, I mean, I, I have a very int like not love hate. It's more. <laughs> I don't know what it is with New York City. Right. Yeah. And I, I mean, anytime someone says you could do this in New York, like you could do that here too. You just walk somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, not really true. Because I've tried taking walks. Like my dream is to be able to ride my bike. I I I did get to talk to one guest who rides their bike everywhere all through New York City. It's a surprise guest and it's a big deal. Rides their bike all over New York City. And I'm you know how much I love riding a bike. And you got a DoorDash delivery person on the podcast? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> wow. We didn't have anyone that day, so uh, I ordered a Caesar salad. Um <laughs> no, we I, I just I would love to be able to ride my bike. It's very hard to do that in LA from say where I live to here because I live 175 miles away from this right. studio. Right. Yeah. Um, but that's on me. Uh, but it is hard also to walk in LA. Sometimes you're walking, you're trying to walk someplace and the sidewalk just stops. That doesn't happen in New York City. The sidewalk doesn't just stop yeah. anywhere. But you don't have to stop. You can keep walking into the street. Are you worried? Oh yeah, you can. Oh yeah. sure you can. Yeah. And then you're immediately hit by a truck. I've been hit by trucks 15 times. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think, it, is New York really a safe place to ride a bike? Because I've opened it's, my door and hit a bike rider. Well, it's not safe, oh. clearly, when you're opening doors. <laughs> you're supposed to check, Sona. So when you're kicking a door open and saying death to all bikers, <laughs> and they go flying over the door, then no, it's not a good place to hang. Not at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, but yeah. I don't know if it's safe. To, yeah. Is it safe to bike? I don't think it's safe yes, to bike. Yes, there's a lot. Bike. It's much better because there are a lot of uh, bike lanes. Okay. What you have to watch out for is uh, many more people have electric bikes. Oh. And uh, there are a lot of delivery people. And they're going 140 miles an hour. Mm. Yes. And they've put, they've like strapped sharp knives to the front of their bikes. <laughs> it's like Road Warrior. And, yeah, it's like Road Warrior. <laughs> uh, that's a little tricky. Yeah, I would love to be able to ride my bike to work. Mm. The only way I could do it is if I bought a really big pickup truck and just did little uh, figure eights in the back on my bike. While Sona, someone Sona, drove. while you drove me to work. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Sure. I won't break suddenly. And for oh. reasons I don't understand, while I'm taking these tight circles, I go, whoop, 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 whoop,